Good evening and welcome back to another match, this time at home to Villarreal. Now first of all, we have got a bit of an exciting news about a player that we signed. I'm actually going to leave it till the end of the video to let you know who it is because I'm pretty sure that you'll get one of the videos uh, as an intro. He is joining up after this match. Now the reason we were able to get him is because we sold Bellarabi for just over 20 million. We also loaned out Zirkov for nearly 7 million just for six months, which I thought was a really good deal. Not that I wanted to lose him. We've got our first choice backer there and we've got Teixeira as a backup for now. But the player we've bought is a regen and I think you'll be excited to see who he is. I'm surprised I've got him, but I got him for 40 million. One of the best players I think I could have got. Now he's still going to struggle to get into the team because he is a youngster, so he's not up to his normal stats as he would be in real life or when he retired. But I think he could even rival some of these players, even though his stats, I think he's rated 75 overall. And that's as a 16 year old, so very exciting. Stay tuned for the end of this video to see who that is. But we're going to jump in to the match against Villarreal first. And it's good to be back at home, as always, at La Rosa later. And yeah, this, I don't like buying too many regens. I, obviously, you have to the longer you play the game because um, even youngsters in this game uh, will eventually go on downward trends. But we're not at that stage yet. But this is just a player I had to go for, especially when I got those funds in. There was a couple of players I was interested in, actually. I did put a bid in for someone else, which also got accepted. I went for both thinking they both might be rejected. Um... But I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But there's some really good regens knocking around. The likes of Modric. Um, I'll not mention the two players that I got bids accepted for and the one I actually bought. Anyway, let's focus on the match today. Quite a few changes today. Zirkov, eh, not Zirkov, Zirkzy. Nelly, Nelly scored there. But yeah, Zirkzy starting up top. We've got Mudrick on the left. Perez is the captain on the right. We've got Kangin Lee. We've got uh, Mariba. We've got the regen youngster Fernandinho in defensive mid. Mandanda's in goal. It's quite a few changes, but we had a brilliant 5 2 win against Atletico Madrid in the last match. So if you didn't watch it, please go ahead. How they scored two, I don't know. They were terrible. We could have had eight or nine. Um, but massive three points and a really good game, really good performance. Perez. And it's a tap in for Mudrick. Great play there. Unselfish. Lovely work from the two wingers. And a nice early start, which is what we want. A little bit of burst of speed there. Nice touch. Simple ball across and Mudrick's in there. So tap in. Just going to have a drink of coffee. Nice outside of the foot pass there. Yeah, but this region. Oh, I can't believe I've got him. It's amazing. Um, the club that I bought him from did come back because I offered... Sorry, no, I, I, his release fee was £40 million, so it wasn't the club but the player... I offered the maximum salary I could, which was about 1.45 million. Because obviously he's only 16 and um, not a massively high overall rating compared to you know other players. Um, and they came back with an increased salary. I think they added about 300,000 on the top, which I accepted straight away. Um, didn't want to risk sort of losing him. Got to see Lee Kangin back in the side as well, though. Or Kangin Lee. Can never decide which it is. And Debushi, he's back in at right back. He had a bit of an injury for a few games. It's good to see him back in as well. Ooh. So you can see great play from Mudrick there. It looked like he got fouled. How he got that ball through, I'm not sure. Nice play from Marie, but yeah, it looks like he gets fouled there. Manages to pull it back in Zirkzee with a tap in. Nice goal.
of getting these quick starts just settles down the team a bit you can really sort of play how you want to play after you've got that first couple of goals oh, really nice play there good save should have scored maybe should have took a touch nice play from Mariba again though Mariba oh, good save thunderous strike from him and uh, Villarreal just can't deal with this pressure at the moment lovely play from Fernandinho Mudrick oh <laughs> defender just got the ball there nice defending in the end actually Fernandinho wins it back second time Ah, uh, just lost it there. Nice play again. Mariva. Ah, oh, deflected. Corner though. I don't know why they're showing a replay of that. another corner strangely defended Oof. you can see he was going for the uh, spectacular there yeah, they get away with that they're very close to losing the ball there Good tackle from Cosinu. And I don't know where Xerxes went. The ball was right to him. Nice play there. Fernandino is just like a, he's a class act, isn't he? He's just a classy player. I'm so glad we got him as that out and out defensive mid. Obviously, a long way to improve stats wise. Sixty back to Mudrick. He got pushed, but not quite enough for a foul. But it put him off. Worry about he's been good today. He is on and up, so I'm not surprised. Oh, really nice play, Kang and Lee. Oh, what a finish that is! Off the underside of the bar. Marie with the pass six. He little flick on. Oh, lovely finish there. Keep almost saved it. It's definitely more uh, satisfying when it comes uh, goes in off the post or the crossbar. And I'm glad Kang and Lee's got a, a goal because he's he's been one of our best players in terms of performance, but in terms of actual getting an end result goals. He just can't put the ball in the net a lot of the time. He keeps missing or he hits it straight at the keeper. Definitely needs to improve that finishing touch. But he's got a goal there. And there it is, half time. Really good first half. I want to keep that pressure up though. And I do like to have a mix of you know, genuine real life players as they are, and then the regens. Um, you know, I don't want just all regens. It's nice to have a mix, but I want to keep the youngsters coming through. And at one, at some point, you just don't have any youngsters left. If if you play enough seasons, you have to go to the regens. Like I say, um, really nice play from Marie Bear. Well, that was uh, 
There's no way near. Kang and Lee were the most touches today. Air passes, rather. I thought it was touches. And, you know, just he plays little passes so nicely. Sexy, Marie, Mudrick, not Marie, but. <laughs> mm. yeah, they get a bit fortunate again. But they've lost it. No, they haven't. They get fortunate again. I don't want to let them go today because, again, well, the last match, Atletico Madrid did not deserve a goal, never mind two. And so far, Villarreal have been pretty terrible as well. Um, good defending there. Not so good defending. Come on. What is going on here? Great tackle from Maribe. Again. Oh, come on. That was a good tackle. All right, we'll make some subs now. We're going to bring on Ruben Castro for Zerg C. We're going to put Diogo on the left to play some Mudrick. And we're going to bring on Sanchez for Kang and Lee again. Well, he's on a bit of an up, but also we want to get him some game time. Hopefully, he'll get nowhere so we might get a bid in from whether that's a transfer or a loan. Yeah, my theory is that if you play players, you know, in a few games... I don't know if it actually works like that, but surely the more time they play and if they get at least decent ratings, they're going to be more likely to be spotted and people putting bids for them. I'm not sure that's definitely true or not, but Carlos Perez wins the ball, though. And Ruben Castro gets in. Perez was very unlucky. He tried to chip the keeper, and then he got taken out after that. I think it should have been a, a pen. For luck here... Tries a delicate finish. Actually, it was outside the box. But he gets absolutely taken out. Cash with the tap in, though. Not need to watch that again. Yeah, so that's why I'm playing Carlos Sanchez anyway. I think, I think it's Carlos Sanchez. Um, see if he gets spotted. Because ideally, we we'll, we'll want to make some money. And he's probably not a player I'm going to keep. Even if we got him out for loan and got a decent amount of money, that would be good. Oh, nearly a decent ball there. That's not a good pass. Here's Diaby. Castro. Oh, wonderful pass and finish there. The two subs combining so well. Lovely pass from Diaby, and it's that first touch that does it that takes away from the defender, and then it's just about calmly slotting it away. Look at that bisecting three or four players, great touch, and a really calm finish. The outside of the foot, you know, being able to bring on. Castro into your B when you're already 3 0 up at the time. It's a, it's a it's a nice position to be in. And we all got to that stage where it's gonna be a struggle to give everyone the game time they deserve, but I think we're finding just about the right balance at the moment. We've got some players out on loan that we definitely want to keep, but we want them to get a bit of game time, improve themselves. Some of them are out on loan just because uh want to make some money and we're probably not going to keep them long term oh nice play there oh straight the keeper wasn't really anyone in the box otherwise I would have passed it what are they doing here they're just giving themselves a terrible situation and it wasn't the best of headers from Fernandinho otherwise they were in trouble Good pressure, but somehow they get a get away with it. Oh, Carlos Perez is absolutely spent, isn't he? Yeah, his legs are just there. Uh, oh, DRB in here though. It's 
Sanchez. Oh, I should have scored. Really nice play, though. Perez with the pass. Got to be scoring there. At least hitting the target. Make the keeper work for it. Castro, oh, straight at the keeper. Good strike, though. He suddenly was on the turn there. Again, a terrible throw. Don't know what the keeper's doing there. And Diaby's in again. Perez. And it's six. Very unselfish from Diaby. Lovely little pass across the box. Of course, Perez is the standing captain today. Lovely work there. Look at that pass. Outstanding display today. Oh, God. They're really taking some risks here. They get away with it a few times, but... There's been a, a few, uh, well, throws like that by the keeper again. That's offside by Castro. I thought he might have just been onside, but nice. No, he's, he's clearly off. Marginally, but he's definitely off. Sanchez, they get very lucky there. Nice play. Giorgi could be in again here. Oh, it's the post. Oh, and he's offside. <laughs> he gets in the way. How we didn't score there, I don't know. Unlucky off the post, but that'll be full time. Great performance today. 6 0. Couldn't really ask for much better. We've kept a clean sheet as well. Amazing stuff. And you can see some very good all-round performances. Surprisingly, like back only got a five. I suppose he wasn't involved too much. But still, do you really deserve a five just because you're not that involved? You didn't make any mistakes. But Castro, coming off the bench, actually got man of the match. But look at those sevens. Mudrick, Perez, Xerxes, Diaby, Castro, Kang and Lee getting a 6.5. Great stuff. And here he is, the new boy. We didn't actually get an intro, which I suppose isn't surprising considering he's 75 overall rated at the moment and he's classed as like a youngster. But we've got Lionel Messi in. He's only 16 years old, already 75 rated. And obviously, you know, some of his stats are still very high. Dribbling, tight possession, acceleration. Look at all those skills he's got as, a, as well. And obviously he's going to massively improve over the next few years. You know, obviously the likes of his finishing, his passing, they'll all be things that will improve in time as he plays. What a great player to get in. Cannot wait to see what he's going to be like. He's obviously going to be amazing. Next match is away to Almeria. And then we've got to run until the next game, which is on the 1st of February, where the transfer window will be closed by that point. So I'll let you know of any incomings or outgoings. It's most likely going to be outgoings at this stage. Hopefully we can get maybe a bid in for one of our two of our players. So join us for that one. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.